Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Thank you very much, everybody. Welcome to another episode from my Big Beefy Man Cave here in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And this is episode 102, the 10th edition of Earth Virtually Purchased Acquisitions. That's right, Virtually Purchased Acquisitions, where stuff I bought online, whether it be Amazon or eBay, I got bought. I bought it on eBay. So, it is. We're going to find out what it is. So, we're going to tear it open, like so. Yes, 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 yes. It is here. It is here. The Sega Saturn stickers. The Sega Saturn stickers. Now, you've been wondering, why did I buy the Sega Saturn stickers? Well, here's the number one reason why. My Sega Saturn sticker is falling off. I need new ones. So, guess what? It's going to... Yeah, I feel bad. So, so that's why I decided, well, I need a new set. I need a new Sega Saturn stickers. So, I'm going to put it on right now. Whoop, there. All right. So, here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ah, this will be perfect. Perfect. I only need one in the middle there. One in the middle. There you go. My new Sega Saturn stickers. And I'll save the others just in case. I can remove them too, but... So, this is my new Sega Saturn C uh, case right here. That, that's how... That's how it is. Um... So, yeah. So, I want to thank everybody for uh, participating on Rant and Rave last night. I really, really am... Uh, very pleased about how that went out. Um, that how well that went. Um, it has been uh, it has it has been a very very easy uh, was an easy time. I know we're trying to recover from what happened a couple weeks ago, and we're still kind of like you know. But I'm very very thankful that everything's been sorted out, everything's been straightened out, and whatnot. And uh, the bed for now. So, anyways, uh, I'll deal with it when I get a chance to. And um, like I said, I'm going to be focused on. I'm going to be focused more on the show. This is very important. All right, I, I like for my, for my show. To, I want people to get to know me beyond. Oh, you're a part of rant and rave. Oh, you're this person's friend, or you're that person's friend. I've always. I've, that's why I always want to do a one man show here. I, that's why I'm always solo in my YouTube videos. Is because of the fact that I want people to get to know me. To know me as a person, and it's very, very highly, it's very highly important and imperative that I do exactly that. Why that is? It's because there's a lot of people out there that judge me by my looks, and by my, uh, you know, by the way I, uh, way I look, the way I act. But I want people to know me from the inside. You know, not you know, you know, you know. A lot of people have made fun of me over the years. You know, over during the times of the internet. And, you know, that concerns me a little bit. I get angry and upset sometimes, but I realize I, these people must, must know me for me, not who my friends are, all right? To me, a man does not, is not measured by the company that he keeps, but, but what is inside his heart, you know? You know, it's great to have a lot of excellent friends. And don't get me wrong, friends are very important. Family is very important. But it's what's in here that counts. And I like to encourage you guys, you know, you know, I like to encourage everyone out there. If you have anybody that wants, you know, wants to know me better, say, "Hey, what about your friend here? What's he like?" And just, you know, I want people to get to know me because I'm a really cool guy. I'm, I focus on good content, positive, happy content, fun content. All right, just to say, it's positive, fun content to be around. I've always wanted to, um, 
you know, this is what my number one purpose here when I get on YouTube is to show love, is to make people smile, have fun, be inspirational, and just, you know, and and just say, let people after they get done watching my videos say, hey, that guy's all right. I like I like his videos. It makes me feel good. I want people to be feeling good about themselves. I want people after watching my videos to be feeling good about their day and go, you know what, I can conquer the day, and you know what. I'll have Eric Lehman to cheer me up. And I want to cheer people up, and that's what I want to do. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm sick of drama, all right? I've dealt with it too many times, and like my good friend Romy says, I have not dealt with drama very, very well, whether it be online or at home. I was sick of it, because you know why? I've always believed in friendship, love, and unity, and family. And that's been very, very, very those four things are very important to me. Not because I don't want everybody to be my friend or anything like that. Listen, it's all about, it's all about, you know, this, this, like I said, this, um, this, my YouTube videos, my YouTube channels are simple. You know, why do I get picked on because of friends that, you know, because by people, because uh, I'm friends with somebody they don't like, that's not fair. I personally don't think it's fair. It's not right. You know, if, you, if you're judging me by, by my friends, by, 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 by the friends that I have, then something's seriously wrong with you and you need to look inside your heart and you need to look inside your mirror because... If this is all you're gonna do is harass me because of the friends I make around here, then, dude, you don't know know the real person. You need to know the real me. You can cut you can cut out the clowning and get to know me, and that's what I want to see. I don't want anybody getting mad at me because oh, you're you're, you're, you know, you're friends with this person. You know, it really it really does disappoint me a little bit when people get at me because oh, I'm this person's friend. You know, and it's not fair. You know what I mean? Uh, but. Yeah, you know, I've always wanted to encourage everybody to watch my show because it's it's goes beyond what I do on rant and rave or go on a lo or someone else's live stream, chat with them there. I want people to get to know me. That's why I've decided that the top of the uh, shenanigan charts is very very important because I want people to get to know me, get to know me that way. You know, one of my favorite things. What what is your favorites? What are not your favorites? And all that. And it's so totally cool. I want to make it cool for you guys as well, and I want people to say, "Hey, that guy likes the same stuff my guy. I'll friend, I'll, I'll be his friend." So I'm really, really excited about that, and uh, I'm really, I'm really, really cool. And you know, like I said, I love video games, retro gaming, as you can see in my shirt, and I have a lot of fun. And I want to, I want to make people smile. It's very important, very important for me to be entertaining and making people smile. Don't worry about all the crap that goes on in your life. Don't worry about the friends that I have. Worry about watching me and, you know, getting to know me. I want people to get to know me, you know. <laughs> I feel like I'm being arrogant here. It's like, forget everybody else. But bring me the attention. No, no, no. I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I don't, you know, I want people to get to know me as me. That's the most important thing. Know me as me, all right? What's inside my heart? What, what am I going, you know. You know, I've always tried to give out a testimony and trying to be inspirational. People, there are people out there that make fun of me of that about that. They don't know, they don't know me. They just do it to to annoy me. They try to, you know, they try to get, you know, get under my skin to the point where, oh, I'm going to turn against my friends, and that's not cool. And that's not cool. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall for that. I'm not going to be disrespected like that. That's not how I am. People get upset with me because, oh, you're per this person's friend. We don't like you because you're this person's friend. You don't know me. Dude, that's why that's why I'm inviting you. I'm inviting you some of you good folks out there. There are good people out there. I mean, haters, mm. but I want to get people to know me and say, hmm, I was wrong about you. I, you know, I misjudged you. And I, I I don't judge people. All right, one thing one thing I don't do is judge people because I leave that to the Lord. You know what I mean? You know, because the Bible says, judge not and be judged. So, I want people to get to know me. That's why I'm always encouraging people. I tell people... On the 100th episode, get out there. Tell everybody you know about this show, man. I, you know, it's a one-man show. I want people to get to know me. I want, I want to put smiles on people's faces. That's my ultimate goal, guys. And show off stuff that I like and, you know, and just, you know, say, hey, I'm here, you know. Let's rock and roll and have a good time. And that's what I'm all about. All right? I've always wanted to, I've always wanted to do fun things like, you know, watch, you know, love, well, my good friend Alex uh, Putnam watched my episode of Pressure Your Luck from yesterday. It was a crazy episode. Let me tell you. Hope you hope you guys watched that. You know, I want to say I say, oh this guy, oh this guy does this. Oh, I didn't know. Wow. Okay, I want to friend this guy. You know, I've always been an inspiration. 
I've always wanted to make people laugh and smile. I got positive feedback on this channel. I want to keep that going, keep that momentum rolling. Any disrespectful comments will have to be blocked. I hate to say it, deleted and blocked. I go make Hardy delete, 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 and I will ship those hateful comments on Skarsgård, the dilapidated boat, and ship it off and go delete, delete, delete. <laughs> gonna have a little bit of fun. Well, I'm probably gonna visit my good uh, my uh, my friend Jody Scout on his live stream. He's gonna play some Super Mario 64, and while we get get that going, uh, well, when he gets that going, and after I come back from that, what's gonna happen? It's the game of strategy, luck, knowledge, and daring. Bullseye, the bonus island. Episode 6 of that. Will, will I uh, succeed in knocking three bullseyes? Or will I be like Stephen Nadeff was complaining at one time before he hit three bullseyes in one spin? A lightning rod. We'll find out on the next episode of Eric Lehman Shenanigans of 1977. So once again, in order to get to know me better, I'm going to bring... The top of the shenanigan charts. That means all my personal favorite things of pop culture, and a list of them. Check, uh, and, and that means a list. That's what. That's what. That's what I mean. So, watch out for the top of the shenanigan charts coming soon to this channel. We're gonna. Uh, excuse me. Wow. Eating those White Castle burgers, man. Oh, chicken burgers that way. Chicken. I love chicken. I eat some more chicken. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Until the next episode, episode 103 comes around. Mr. Announcer, please take us home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget production. And in association with... A sweet, bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day.